Here we have a Vivo SNS 3V digital readout system that we're going to attempt to install on the Beaver Pal mill today. I've owned this digital readout for quite some time. I was going to install it onto a different milling machine, but that never happened. So the actual display has been out of the box along with one scale for quite some time, but we'll unbox the other scales and we can see what's in there. Okay, we've got some sort of guard, packing bits, a mounting plate, not sure what these are, I assume they're caps for this guard here, some nuts and bolts, including some bolts and some P clips to allow us to put the cables up, and of course, the scale itself. Now we just need to figure out where we can mount it on the machine. Welcome to the right hand side of the machine. This is the side that I think will be best to mount the Z axis scale down here. This surface here is fairly parallel with that way. And when installing digital scales, it's important that you have the scale moving parallel with the way itself. That way you don't get any variation in the measurements. My original thought of mounting it here is probably not going to work with mounting it up against the back of the ways because that surface is drafted. So the only other option we've got is to mount it onto this back plate and maybe space it off the ways to try and get as straight as possible. But we might have to bring it out a bit further. So we also have the issue where we've got down here some oil nipples which allow us to lubricate that way. So we need to make sure we still have access to them. To help us start lining things up, I'm going to try and scribe a 40mm line from the inside of this drafted way surface. And that will give us a starting point of where we can put screws. Now with that marked up, we have to try and find out the location of these holes, so they will line up. Alright, take two. There's a snap drill bit in that hole. Should have known better than to put uh, lubricant on cast iron. Um, anyway, is what it is. Keep going. Just gonna lower the hole slightly below that one. Yeah. 
because I can't get a tap handle in here. I'm going to use the drill to try and tap this hole. Just going to go slowly. Spiral tap. No luck on the spiral tap, we'll just keep going with the straight flute. Take that slow. Deep enough. I've finished installing the DRO kit on this mill. Now there's three 500 millimeter linear scales on here and one we had to extend the sort of frame out a little bit using this L bracket to attach it. This is for the Y axis. The X axis was pretty easy. That was just mounted to the back of the X carriage. But this Z axis, as you've seen previously, was pretty difficult to install. I think I was drilling too close to the edge of this casting, so when I was putting taps through, I was hitting the other edge or the side of the casting and snapping the taps. So I went through three taps doing that one job. You can see here the scorch marks from an attempt of trying to pull, pull out that tap. But there we go, it's all installed. It's all functioning correctly, so I'll move the, the table up and down. You'll see the z-axis move, just like that. I'll move the y-axis on the table. There we go, and now the x-axis.